Good evening, I'm Keith Case. And I'm Stacy Scheibel. Thank you for joining us. A local paramedic who's also a registered nurse is accused of stealing medications meant for patients. The Hillsborough County Fire Rescue Paramedic resigned his position a day after he was put on leave, and now an investigation is underway. Eight on your side, Senior Investigator Walt Buteau joins us with the details. No arrests or criminal charges at this point, but law enforcement is involved looking for evidence that could connect missing narcotics to a veteran paramedic. Michael J. Ryer was put on administrative leave nine days ago on July 27th by the Hillsborough County Fire Department, according to this letter obtained by Eight on Your Side. It was written to Ryer by Chief Dennis Jones and states Ryer resigned on the 28th. In the letter, the chief writes he was put on leave for suspected theft of multiple narcotics that is now under investigation by law enforcement. The county refuses to offer any details about this, so we're still in the dark about what type of narcotics are involved, how much was taken, or when it was allegedly taken. We asked for an on-camera interview with Chief Jones, but he declined, sending us this statement instead. Jones said, quote, as a practice, Hillsborough County does not comment on matters under investigation. However, Hillsborough County County Fire Rescue took immediate action at the first moment of concern. The county has yet to comment on our request for information about its policy for tracking and securing fire department narcotics. In his statement, Chief Jones did say the department is cooperating with investigators and taking action to ensure safety of Hillsborough County residents. According to Department of Health records, Ryer has been a registered paramedic since 2007 and a registered nurse since 2017. The nursing license indicates an address of record of a Bay Area hospital, but that facility has not responded yet to questions about whether or not Ryer works there. And again, at this point, Ryer is under investigation, but no criminal charges have been filed. Efforts to reach Ryer by phone today were unsuccessful. Well, is there any indication of disciplinary action from the Department of Health at this point? So we checked his record, and his license does not include any indications of disciplined administrative action, at least at this point. We'll keep looking at it, though. 